Ivy has, can already tell that there's something special going on with Voodoo, and we all know how jealous she gets. Come on, Voo. So don't be surprised if she lets us hear it here in a few minutes. As soon as I start leading him away. Uh-oh, here it goes. <laughs> afraid of that. <laughs> Sorry, baby. Sorry, love. We'll get you next time, baby. We'll get you next time, sweetie. She does not understand why she can't have a training session. She just doesn't get it. She wants to be trained, right? But voodoo, it's not fair that you get all the training. And she doesn't. Well, good morning, folks. Happy Saturday. We're about to start our second session with Voodoo. Miss Phillips is on her way over and I've come out to get him haltered up. This morning, we're gonna have the farrier come out at the same time. That's gonna be quite the fiasco. And I know that Courtney is gonna be using the uh, little barn corral here for what she's doing. So we have to take Voodoo to the front pasture. That means I have to get the babies, the littles, off the front pasture where they're at right now. So it's gonna be interesting. I want you guys to watch how cute this is. Come on, littles! Let's go! Come on, babies! Let's go, littles! Look at the wild stampede of littles. Come on, babies! Hey, guys, where's the pigs? Where's all the pigs? Huh? Watch out for Ringo right there. Hey, come on, Ernest! Come on, Mag! So we gotta take these littles and put them all. <laughs> Hi, sweet baby girl. That's so cute. You guys want some snacks? Can't find the pig. Oh my goodness. Well, I see now the pigs are in the barn still. <laughs> Looks like the pigs have been laid up. Move, baby. Oh, ooh. Little goat's about to trip me. Well, I guess I was wrong. The pigs are already back here. All right. Voodoo's here in the front. I've taken the babies and they're all in a separate pasture. We're gonna take Voodoo and work with him out here in the front, I believe. I'll let Allie decide for sure when she gets here. But I think this is a good spot. It's away from everybody else, so there'll be no distractions. Folks, I just wanna say that uh, the process that we're involving ourselves with right now with him is what they call desensitizing. You wanna come explain that? Um, I'm not the expert here by any means. Well, neither one of us are experts, and I don't think I mean, let's be honest. There's a lot of folks who claim to be experts with all kinds of stuff, and it's, that's not us. We oh. just know that there's a problem with voodoo as far as him being very sensitive to certain things. And so what Allie's trying to do is a very methodical approach to what they call desensitizing. Explain that if you want to. So as I understand it to be, is that they, like, certain things startle him. Yeah. So if you get them used to those startles and those things, they won't eventually startle him. Yeah. I don't know. So last week we started with the very first thing, which is touch. It's just kind of, you know, the five senses. So with touch, we were able to do all kinds of things with him that uh, can hopefully get him more used to things that touch him and, and th that may startle him. An example of that would be on the saddle, there were some loose straps. Mm -hmm. And so as we were riding, we think that those loose straps, because they were kind of like dangling around, might have been the reason he was very jumpy and maybe easily startled. Possibly the fact that his halter fits a little bit loose. I mean, you can see that it's, it's a little bit too big for him, which is, which is, I think, okay. But anything that dangles and wiggles and moves, we're hoping to desensitize him to those kind of things so he doesn't get startled by that. Today, we're doing noise, sounds. So we're going to, I'm not sure exactly what she has in mind. She hasn't gotten here yet. But we're going to work with different sounds so that now we can incorporate different sounds into... Uh oh he's gonna get himself tangled there um anywho it's called desensitizing and a lot of folks may not really understand the why we're doing what we're doing but i totally bought into the way out explained it to us and so i feel like anything's better than nothing you know jamie pointed out something i told you guys that whenever that flag started whipping around that's what made him start getting jumpy uh the day he threw me off but it might be more than just that wag that, uh, that wag whipping that flag whipping around you know there's also some metal components up there that hold the flag to the string and sometimes when that flag blows i'll see if i can make it 
whenever that flag starts whipping around, that metal, hear that? That metal on metal makes that kind of a sound. And actually, did you see that? Look how he's acting right now. I know, I think that's part of it. So it might not just be the whipping noise of the flag. It might could also be the metal on metal clang that he's scared of. So, yeah, we'll figure it all out, I hope. But hey. Look at him. He did not like that. No. Sorry, buddy. Oh, that was definitely a trigger. It might be more noise related than anything else because he seems to do fine with touch. Well, he's found nice green grass in his pasture out in my yard. Yeah, I don't have to mow now. Okay, folks, so Allie's back, and today we're working on noise desensitizing. And so what we have over here are a whole uh, collage of things we're going to use that make some pretty annoying noises. Uh, clanging of buckets, bells, oh, the old whipping, wish, wish, chains, metal on metal. And uh, so we're about to get started here. Anything you want to say before we get started? No, just watch his reaction. So, okay, so what we're doing over here, I'll be making noises from a distance. And we're going to watch his reaction to those noises so we can kind of tell uh, which things he's sensitive to, right? Yes. <laughs> now, right now, Voodoo only wants to eat some of this green grass out of my yard. His pastures... <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go with the bell first. All right, so I'll go with Ringo's bell. You ready? Care less about Ringo's bell. Look at Ringo. Ringo's like, that's my bell and I want it back. Ringo's very jealous. I know it's about. That's up. Oh, that's all I got. Now, this was actually bought for Ringo. Look, they put our address on it and everything. It's a little bit too heavy for Ringo's neck. We did put it on him just for a photo op, but he was not having it. A little bit too big and too heavy for his little neck. So this next part is kind of scary. We've tried all kinds of different noises and he's not being very reactive to anything. So now we're walking down towards the woods because we're going to give him the ultimate test. We're going to shoot a couple of guns. Now we're not going to shoot anywhere nearby him so people can relax. You mentioned the word guns and everyone goes crazy. But folks, we're out here in the country, and we're in Texas, and everyone has guns. And so ultimately, he needs to be used to hearing gunshots and knowing that that gunshot is not going to affect. It's just a noise. It's just a noise. So, voodoo session went pretty good. And now, guess what? Now we got Courtney out to work on the hooves. It's a big day for you, buddy. So we got all kinds of pros out today. <laughs> uh, he was a leader of a herd. <laughs> Excited about ago, this. They uh, they someone sent this to us. And it is the neatest thing. It's easier than holding a brush. It's just use your hand and it does the same thing. That's awesome. I get excited over stuff like this. Is that crazy? <laughs> it's kind of sad when your life comes down to the point where this over here excites you. I could not wait to use this thing. I don't think thing. that's sad. I think that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is my thing. Look. And I think he likes it. And it's so much easier than using a brush. When you have to grip a brush and stuff, that's, that's neat. But this, he was all up in my, my girl's in the back and she is not happy. <laughs> I was telling Whew. Allie about Ivy's uh, infatuation with you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she is, uh, yeah, now, she's the jealous guy. I'm going to tell her I'm getting married. I don't know how she's going to react. Look at this spoiled right guy right here. I literally had to run back out of the pasture when I went to get my uh, tools. She was like, hey, guys. All right, so the ladies are thinking that maybe the saddle we're using could be part of the issue. And then, of course, the, the lack of... Uh, the saddle pad that I was using wasn't thick enough. So, it was kind of funny because 
We're going to try this and see what happens. Behind you. No problem. Oh boy. Go on the right. other angle. No. Okay. He's just being testy. Yeah. I'm going to give you I'm not going to have y'all lifting me up. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Oh, this is the best I day ever. Up. I give you up. This is the best yeah. day ever. You put your feet up there. I put my hand behind your thigh. And when you jump, I just give you a boost. I can do this. Okay. You can do this. Okay, Are we ready? Yeah. Hell yeah. So he's, like, he's, like, he's like, he's like, I'm getting it. One, two, three. All right, don't pull on the Don't pull back. Hands. Straighten your saddle up. It's a little loose. It is loose. He's got some fat rolls to him. Oh, he's a sucker. You want me to? No, you're good. So just breathe. Just, you're good. You're going to ride with two hands. You like that saddle, don't you? Yeah, it feels good. Yeah. Yeah, it is slippery, though. It's a ranch hand it, saddle. It, hey, come on. Let's go, move. <laughs> Who's going the wrong way? That's awesome. No, he's not. I don't think it's a. All right, so it has been determined that it was actually not the rider entirely, right? Yes, it was not. It the was the combination of, I think one of you guys said it, a lot of the, the tools that the rider was using. Possibly the saddle, definitely the bridle. Y'all want to add to this anywhere? Not, like the pressure on his nose. He gets overstimulated yeah. very quickly, so if you have too much going on at once, like a tight chain on his nose, and then trying to cue him, he's not going to uh, to respond to it. Very so well. ultimately, though, all I really want this to be said is that it was not the rider. Horse has lots of training. Lots and lots <laughs> and lots. Of he knows training. what he is doing. And I have to find I, I have to find the confidence to let him know who the boss is, pretty much. And I think after today, I think I'll be better at that. So. I, hey, I think your this ride was a lot better than your last ride. Definitely, I would agree with that. And we'll end it on a positive note. We ended on As Ali says, we'll end it on a positive note.